Hey, 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 happy Tuesday. Access your true nature medicine tribe. It's Sarah Jane and I am coming to you from a beautiful day. And as I'm speaking, I was just wondering at the wonder of all these beautiful little white butterflies that have hatched out of their cocoons at extreme effort to themselves to get out of their, their little cocoons and emerge as these beautiful white butterflies and they're all you might see them as I'm talking to you today but they're all just flying and all flying west and they're all heading off into the west against great odds of uh, changing climate and rain and wind and birds that are feasting on them and it kind of brings me to oops, see there goes a motorbike um, today's topic of of conversation knowing that it's the last day of January hi Maria and that I have had a lot of conversations today that have really centered around this this amount of anxiety that's coming up for a lot of people on where they feel like they're out of choice and you know I'm getting dizzy spells because I did this or um, I'm running out of time and it's the end of January and I don't know where I'm going and I'm not sure what my vision is and I don't know how I'm gonna get what I want this this year and it's already January's gone and oh my gosh and there's a lot of panic and a lot of uncertainty let's face it there's a lot of crazy crap going on in the world right now as these sort of new energies emerge and we really step into the Chinese New Year which is the year of the cockerel it's about cockle doodle do it's about waking up it's about waking into a collective consciousness of a new paradigm of something that we haven't navigated before and we're all choosing to be here if we're really honest with ourselves to support each other in in collaboration in the collective of what do I know that's going to create more effort rather than choosing hard and I really had to look at this for myself a couple of months ago where I knew that I was I was actually choosing a lot more hard over simplifying and and I wasn't really making space in my own world for my deep spiritual work my my sense of belonging in this body at this time and and how I was going to um, I have no clue of what you're talking about good neither do I <laughs> but here we are anyway so what I really wanted to talk about is this power of choice that it doesn't matter what we're choosing even in the space of non-choice that we're not cho we're still in choice and when we're saying things like I don't have time to exercise you're making a choice or when you're saying um, like things in your business are slow and and I'm I'm gonna just push through and I'm gonna enforce and I'm gonna go even though it's hard and even though I have no idea what I'm talking about or what I want to create in my life instead of stopping and pushing pause and taking time to go deep into the fertile listening ground of what is my life asking of me what is my life telling me to do and stop over complicating things we're still making a choice and if the same message is coming at, at you again and again where it doesn't matter what you're doing or what you're what you're saying or or how much you're you're pursuing happiness and it looks like everybody is suddenly talking about intuition and they're talking about you know leaning in and, and there's this languaging that's happening and it doesn't always apply to you you're making a choice and when you say that it's hard it's hard to find clients you're making a choice to have it be hard in your reality so I think I really wanted you to say on this Tuesday on this last day of January where we have given ourselves the opportunity to go back and look at look at the results of what we created last year and what worked and what didn't work that we're actively choosing to participate in the experience that we want hi Christina to to move into which is is living into your legacy of of using your gifts and being really really aware of it so I hope I'm making sense for the person that commented earlier that they had no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, these conversations are often just intuitive and they're based on listening to what's been coming into my awareness and what's been coming through the clients and the amazing woman that I've, I've had the privilege to speak to today. So just know that you may want to ask on this Tuesday, what, what exactly am I choosing as my reality? 
and what is the information or the awareness or the support or or the action that I need to focus on and then just focusing on one thing at a time giving yourself time to slow down when everything just seems to be running away with you and going at a, at a, at a speed of knots and I'm just looking at the butterflies again they all hatch in the collective consciousness that it's time to go and and do their rite of passage they're, they're all flying in the direction of waste but they're not all going at, a, at the same time they're all they're using their energy and they're and they're taking their own time to fly wherever they need to go and and mate and and move into the next cycle of their lives and their experience so if you've sort of been wondering you know oh my god what am i going to do and how am i going to get there know that february is the beginning right we're we're we we're out of the starting gates did you see that beautiful little butterfly just kind of nudging me to say keep going um, you know what if you could just actually know that you don't need to always forge ahead all the time and there's no rush there is no rush sometimes it's in the simplest actions and the expressions there goes a beautiful bird of just pausing pushing pause and then knowing and trusting that everything you desire everything you you need asking those questions what is it that I truly desire in this moment what do I want and allowing yourself the pause to actually feel into that it's not going anywhere and if you run too fast I think this is where we miss so many of the beautiful experiences in our life because we're, we think there's somewhere to get to and we run straight past things that are right under our eyes um, you know someone called me today and she said well you know I ran this process um, this body process and and I've been dizzy ever since I did it and and I said could you just listen to the languaging that you just used in the fact that you went straight from asking something to shift and change trusting that this may be a contribution and then moving so quickly into the conclusion that because she did this thing now she's dizzy and now there needs to be a problem that needs to be fixed rather than 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 looking at well oh i think i asked i, I asked her i said when are you feeling the dizziness and she said when she turns around too quickly and i think this is where we need to actually push pause and and listen to our life and listen to our body in that what if it was as simple as your body just saying turn around slowly or maybe don't turn around maybe start to look at what is in front of you where are you moving forward and how can you align yourself in a more congruent way to allow you to have that piece of the pause to give you more of what you want you know stop rushing past and trying to find solutions and trying to have all the pieces figured out instead of running or turning around too quickly instead of looking at the past before you actually decide to take a step in a different direction what if you actually just keep facing forward keep flying like the butterflies are today fly waste do you know why you're flying waste I don't know your body knows and you know maybe there's something there that is that is calling you and then go there and see what shows up for you the grass looks nice isn't it beautiful we've had some rain so it's really beautiful and green um, in Johannesburg right now so yeah instead of running this Tuesday um, make every day a choice day look at your unconscious choices that are actually making you forge ahead and make things difficult instead of simplifying things to just look at what is the right of passage for me the direction of south to west is the right of passage it's about looking at the vision that you've had and bringing it down into the direction of the east and then moving through this is the right of passage that we're all not allowing ourselves to actually enjoy we're not allowing ourselves to to just enjoy the moment of moving towards it slow down take it all in look at what is already there it's right in front of you you can't see that if you keep turning away from from the call take the time to breathe and stand in the full force of your own power that's what's going to allow you to see clearly the way ahead, the step to take, the next idea to follow.
there is no pursuit in happiness when we're pushing ourselves to be happy or we're pushing ourselves to not be unhappy when we're pushing ourselves through grief rather than allowing ourselves to take the time to assimilate and, and see the grief and, and feel it in our body we miss that pivotal point that actually allows us to intuit and to trust that this is what is required in this moment so that you can see with clear sighted vision that this is where I'm going to fly. All the birds are going that way too in pursuit of them of the butterflies. So what is your next step and what is what is the next the next inspired action the creation that you're willing to have today that's going to give you more of you right away and if that is you know that if that means slowing down allow yourself time to pause allow yourself to feel deeply because when you believe in yourself when you slow down and you're stepping ahead with the intention in your potency in your intuitive trust and knowing and faith and hope and grace and all those other beautiful energies of what are in you already that's when you actually get forward motion that's when you actually start to see results in a very in a much much more easier simple way and I'm not saying that it's always easy but when you when you want that more than you want to run so fast ahead of yourself that that you get overwhelmed and you shut yourself down that's when you actually start to feel greater and you feel better in your life and I know it's counterintuitive for a lot of you big achievers and you uh, recovering perfectionists but just notice notice where you can make a choice today to just slow down to just enjoy the grass underneath under, you know I'm enjoying the grass I'm enjoying the Sun um, I'm enjoying just watching things go by and and know that we don't always have to understand it in order to receive it in fact you know this understanding is is a big part of what keeps us hooked into the old patterns of of abuse and the old patterns of suffering because we don't allow ourselves to have the forward motion that's required to actually give us the simplicity and the, and the flow and the grace that we're actually asking for so you know there is power there is so much power in slowing down rather than keep running 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 you're not needing to chase the dragon you need to invoke the dragon invoke the fire the fire energy you know what warms your heart what fills you up and that's so very much that feminine aspect of the cockerel is where are you actually creating sanctuary if you're not allowing yourself to build and feather your nest you have to allow yourself to, to feather your nest and to and to roost and to come home to your heart and get really clear on what is it that you really really want so I invite you to try and do it that's 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 about it for for me today you know I've been where you are if you're if you're kind of getting caught up in this in this this fast track of you know we're all running in the same direction um, the sheep following the sheep or the butterflies the butterflies know where they're going and they're going in divine timing right now are they all going together as a collective consciousness yes it's in their morphogenetic field just as it's in the in in the human field right now everybody's running to try and get away from this fear of the unknown of oh my gosh oh my gosh what's happening all around the world right now rather than actually just pausing and knowing that you get to choose to slow down and look at what is aligned what is what is the alignment where am I out of congruence with where I'm going and taking that moment so that you can can take the inspired action to get the results that you want so I hope that was of value to you I'm just gonna check and see here I saw a question oopsie okay I just lost that um, but yeah if there aren't any questions I don't know what I just did but yeah power of choice is yours choose to move at your own pace and know that it is all in divine timing and when we stop and listen to our bodies when we go back into the natural rhythm of cycle of knowing that there's a time for for rest there's a time for 
there's a season for all things, then you can sort of take the time and the space, you know, it's more space than it is time, to actually recognize what you require. Not because anybody's telling you to, but because you know that you're aligned with the big picture and just widen your perspective. You know, I have such a beautiful view, I'll show you. Um, I really am sitting on top of a mountain today. So that's, that's my ch choice Tuesday for you. Make every day a, cho a choice day. Power of choice is yours. Choose it. The world's waiting for you and what only you have to give. So go out there and, and be you and share your gifts with the world as only you can because now is the time. All right, lots of love. Bye guys.